It's pretty ambitious making Arcvis or outdoor scenes without using an add-on or asset library like Botanic. And most people end up abandoning such attempts or just stick to interior scenes where they don't have to worry about modeling trees and vegetation. Attempting outdoor scenes without the Botanic add-on or something equivalent is simply madness. You would be committing to modeling trees, grass and any other kind of landscaping vegetation in addition to placing and scattering them into your environment. Asset placement sounds easy but scattering grass or vegetation in a convincing realistic way is going to take some time and requires having some experience in the different settings to use. So if you want to spare yourself from the headache and prefer saving time while getting realistic and amazing results, then the Botanic add-on is for you. It features a variety of trees, grass, flowers, weed, palms, succulents, shrubs, and pots for HVs visualization. It's amazing for environmental design, rendering forest, landscaping or any other scenes that could use a bit of varied greenery. The library is always expanding with more trees and greenery joining the collection to create a massive library of models for everyone to use. There are also plans to add more features like wind animation and different levels of detail. So if you're ready to make outdoor scenes and act this, uh, this is an add-on for you. Outdoor scenes usually look incomplete without any form of vegetation. So this add-on is that final touch you need. I'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to get this add-on for yourself. But they're also running a Christmas challenge where they are giving away botanic for free if you participate in this challenge and win the competition. So the challenge is they give you a well-made Christmas tree and uh, you have to decorate it with your own asset. Uh, the Christmas tree is from their asset collection if you win the challenge you get botanic for free so all you have to do is share your render on instagram with the hashtag botanic xmas and the winners will win the add-on so you can go over to their page i'll be leaving a link in the description join the challenge and, and try your luck at uh, this challenge let's scroll through the different features how they have for this add-on you can see they have this uh, scattering features to place your assets and uh, manage them uh, nicely uh, this allows you to populate your scene quite fast uh, and uh, you can easily add in different uh, particles we're going to do a full review of this add-on uh, but i just wanted to first go through the add-on uh, very easily you even have the ability to, to animate uh, the look of your tree give it a more autumn or winter look there are just a lot of assets uh, to choose from so you can also look at uh, how this add-on has been used in different environments uh, you can see if you're trying to make a scene like this without this kind of add-on or an asset library equivalent to this you would just spend a lot of time uh, creating these assets and uh, I'm not sure even they would even look that great because it takes a lot of time to create these uh, models so yeah so let's go on and uh, set up a quick scene uh, using this add-on maybe let's uh, do something like this and see how fast it will take us so, so I'm just going to save this image here and drag it into blender just to see how fast it would just to show you how fast it would take us uh, to make let's start with the environment or we can just uh, add a mouth resolution modifier mouth resolution so i'll do a few subdivisions let's go into use linear subdivisions and then add a displacement modifier and uh, add a noise modifier uh, clouds curl this up a bit subdivide this even further so if you place our camera around here to install the add-on so you just go and edit preferences add-ons and then install uh, just navigate to where you have the add-ons stored select the add-on and then hit install and then you just you can just search botanic and uh, you should be able to see it activated and uh, if you hit n and then you can access it under the polygonic panel here you can see all the different settings so if you want to spawn uh, grass you just have to uh, for example on this here you just have to you just have to select spawn asset and then you see a variety of different uh, assets you have you have trees you have um, have flowers you have different a lot of variation so let's just find ourselves some grass so that we can populate this here remember we want to scatter the grass and make it like this so all you have to do is select other plane and uh, select instead of say selecting spawn spawn asset just select scatter asset and uh, that should give you that should set your ground as uh, the target and uh, now you can just click plus and uh, select what kind of vegetation you want so let's go with something like this uh, the basic grass option and uh, click ok and that should populate our grass when you select the asset you can see that uh, we get a layer based system so you can add more grass if you want so you can add that and that will be added at whatever you have to whatever grass system you have already now you can disable 
enable this like that. So this kind of layer-based system is really amazing because it gives you a lot of control over your environment. So let me just, I think this area here is uh, good and is better. And I'm just going to select my camera, drag it behind like that, and I'm going to add a plane. Uh, this is going to be our water. You can already see that uh, our scene is looking even better in just a few clicks. So let's let's change to cycles here, and uh, we can also add let's see a sky. See how the grass already looks amazing. So uh, then we can select uh, this plane and uh, give it a, a look a water material. So a noise texture and see what we have in just a matter of means and now remember you're not only limited to grass you also have uh, different assets we have a uh, trees so we can also add these around uh, so let's uh, say select i think this here and scale this down add more trees Uh, the great thing about these assets is that uh, their pivot point is set at the bottom so if you want to move your tree anywhere else so for example here if i duplicated this shift d i can use shift right click and uh, to snap my cursor anywhere here and then shift s to snap cursor selection to cursor and that should place other trees somewhere else like that so i'm just going to make a few copies of this and uh, place them around and uh, maybe even add more trees uh, since we have the asset library, let's use it. And uh, if you duplicate a tree and uh, it's above like that, you can just see it snap to ground and I should place it out of the ground like that. And in less than a few minutes, you can see what we have got. And see they even have some ports if you want. You can even add in some few weeds here. Maybe place them somewhere like there where the camera can see them yeah so I think I just have to give it some directional lighting better my lighting and uh, yeah you can see this setup only took me about 10 minutes or even less and uh, this is what we managed to get so let me do a quick render and I'll come back just to show you how how it looks yeah so the runner is done and uh, this is what we managed to do in under i think five minutes or less uh, it's, again if you want to get it you can find it in the link in the description uh, so that you can get it don't, don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video